Okay. In this video, we understand about Euclid's division algorithm. Now, what this algorithm says is that given that there are two positive integers a and b there are always always unique integers Q and R that satisfy the following A is equal to B times Q plus R and R is greater than or equal to 0 is less than B. Now, what do you mean by this? Let us understand. Given that there are two positive integers a and b, so a is a positive integer and b is also another positive integer. So let us take a as any positive integer. Let's say it is equal to 18. Okay. So 18 can always be written as b times q okay plus r so what does this mean that 18 can always be written as a multiple of b into q means b times q okay plus r so b is a positive integer okay this is a positive integer and q can be any variable plus r. r is basically the remainder which arises. So for any number, let's say you want to write this as 5x plus 3. Now if you see, x here will be equal to 3. Why? Because 5 times 3 plus 3 is equal to 18. So 18 is a positive integer, 5 is a positive integer, and 3 is the remainder which is greater than or equal to 0. Obviously, this is true for this. And less than b, and b is equal to 5 here. Effectively, if you see, this is nothing great. I mean, you always had been, suppose you were to divide 18 by 5. So you would write 5 times 3 gives you 15. 3. So 3 is your remainder. So R or the remainder is 3. Right? B or the number which is multiplying is 5. And Q Q in this example is 3. So given that any two positive integers A and B which is 18 and 5 in these cases there are always unique integers Q and R. Unique. Which means now you can't put anything else here this x or q has to be equal to 3. If you put anything else here, this equation will not hold true. Okay? So this value has to be satisfied for only particular values of q and r. Let us see this for some other number. Okay? Let's do this for one more. Let's do this for one more set of numbers. Okay. Let's say we do this for 29 and 7. Now, 29 is equal to what? How do I write this? Suppose I do a division of 29. 7 times 4 
gives me 28, 1. So 1 is basically my remainder or this r plus 1. And this is 7 into 4. So for any two positive integers, so this is my a and this is my b. So for any two positive integers, 27 and 1, there will always be a unique integer q and r. q here is 4. And r is equal to 1, which will satisfy this equation. Isn't it true for this one? Yes, it definitely is. r is greater than or equal to 1 and is less than b, which is 7. You want to have one more example? Let me just take you through that as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's take 37 and 6, which are both positive integers. So for any two positive integers a and b, a is equal to, so 37 is equal to 4 into q plus r. Now, how do you find out the value of q and r? You divide 37 by 4. So you get 9 here, 36, and 1 here. So 1 is r and 9 is Q or this can be written as 4 into 9 plus 1. So again this equation holds true. So this is called Euclid's division algorithm.